Hello you, hello Josh. How are you doing? You're talking the whole day already, right? Not the whole day. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> So I have to say, I really enjoyed the movie. So it's always easier to talk about a movie you like and then see you guys. It seemed like you had so much fun playing. And I talked with you um, in the last interview, we talked about you have much more fun now, Hugh, playing because you stepped away a little bit. Is that right? Uh, yes, I, I, I did. I didn't do very much for a few years. And then um, when I came back, I was found myself back in a world I was in in my 20s where I was just doing silly characters all the time, funny voices. That was my work. That's how I earned a living as a young man. And I'm much happier like that. And I think a bit better. I'm, I'm less self-conscious because I'm, I'm being someone else rather than being some version of myself. Sometimes getting older helps because we get cooler when we get older. That's what I think. You know, we don't care so much about anymore. You're very cool. Oh, no, I doubt that. <laughs> so, Josh, did you, when you worked with you, you know, because he was such a fan of yours, of course, in the movie, did you both learn from each other? I, I can't answer for Hugh, but I can say I learned from him. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, I, I, Sorry, Hugh. I, I I learned from you. Yes, I did. <laughs> I mean, I highly doubt that, but I will say that uh, being on a set with Hugh uh, is is lively, and you never know what you're going to get. I find it, I I found it, I found it intimidating, Hugh. I got to say, the first couple of days. Ah, sure. no, you no. Didn't. yeah, no. I did, I did, and I and and there were a couple of uh, there were a couple of moments in which I almost said things in improv that I probably shouldn't have. And uh, somehow we skirted the worst of it. And uh, one of Hugh's favorite, one of my favorite things that you said to me, and I hope I'm not speaking out of turn, is just like, who do you hate most in this industry? Oh, yes. I <laughs> and know. you said that, I think, when, when we'd been working on the scene for about 10 minutes and we were supposed to improv all these things. And all I could think about were these people I don't like in the industry. And I had to improv about was people in the industry. Who was it? have an answer for that immediately but i don't say it um, <laughs> exactly so but you did you know uh, what i wanted to say when the knot broke for you when you have so much fun playing it this mr simmons you know all too tanned pretty tacky and full of himself you know and the voice reminded me very much of a british comedian yes which one Russell Brand. Oh. Think about it. Listen I, to his YouTube. I just got two kittens from Russell. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, I don't agree. I think the guy in The Gentleman's more like Russell Brand. This guy's <laughs> more North London mature. Uh, yeah, I, I don't quite agree with you there. That you have in mind when you played him, I can't tell you. he'll sue me <laughs> <laughs> because I, I talk much more to you, Hugh. Because I have Josh later on alone, so I oh. don't want to be impolite, no but we have oh. the possibility to talk later on. Very last question All the destinations you traveled, is that a bonus or is that like, oh my God, I have to pack my suitcases or is it more like, oh cool, I do the movie, good destinations? It definitely, I, I, it's, a, it's a plus. A, a home, I think is very overrated as a concept. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a place one should return to. You get hugged by your children and your wife, spend a few days and then bugger off again for a bit. I, I, I think the last two years, <laughs> we've all had too much home. <laughs> I have to agree. More of a more of a military brat lifestyle for me. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. You, uh, Josh, we see each other later. Thank okay. you, Hugh. Have a wonderful day. Always happy to see you. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye.